Oh, you didn't know? Well, your ass better call somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Sweetie Man Entertainment presents Welcome to the Show. I'm your host, Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Smooth Money Mayweather, the paper chaser. How at your boy. And welcome to the show. Yo, what it do? It's your boy Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, aka Smooth Money Mayweather Paper Chaser. We back with another video, man. And this shit is getting crazy and crazy and crazier in Phoenix. If you've been watching my story, I covered this before where um I think he's the GM or the president of operation or the owner. Uh he's been called just like all these other white folks out here saying these racial uh derogatory uh sexual slurs towards employees or hidden messages and their emails and stuff like that so of course what is done in the dark has come to light now he has been hit he has been hit and his name is marcus roberts I serve a suspension for one year, fine ten million dollars, and to me, I think he's the GM or he's the owner, managing partner. Robert served for one year following the investigation into the organization workplace culture. The NBA has issued out a statement about it. Um, According to ESPN, sir, will work with the NBA to find an interim governor for the sons to fill in during his suspension. <clears throat> Excuse me. Motivation investigation found the NBA said, sir, and engage in instances derogatory towards women uh, that were employed there. Made many sexual relate related comment in the workplace. I like, I don't understand this. Like you know what I'm saying. Like when is society is going to be like understand this shit, bro? Like especially with the cameras, you got people still doing dirt, still doing dirt on camera. This cameras everywhere, everywhere. I'm not even just talking about like. Cameras like in the parking lot at certain gas stations or convenience stores and stuff like that. I'm talking about with people with their phones. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just a crazy thing, bro. Like this shit is going on, bro. Y'all doing this in the workplace. I had somebody at my job recently, maybe like two months ago, sexual harassing uh, a younger female. The guy could have been like their grandmother or something like that. And you're making sexual advances towards a, a young lady talking about how you like how uh, them jeans look on like look on her you know what i'm saying you drive around when you're supposed to be coming to work you do a whole u-turn because you see this girl going to her car and stop in front of her vehicle she couldn't back up stop in front of her vehicle to talk to her why why take your ass to work my g and get your bread like it's just mind boggling, bro. It's just mind boggling, bro, that we risk it all. We risk it all. If a, if a, if a female is not giving you that same energy, let it go. Let it go. Or don't say nothing at all, period. Like, just, just go to work. Who knows? This man could have been married, all, all we know. And you making these sexual advances towards women.
They even said that he was even uh, demeaning and harsh treatment of employees, including by yelling and cursing at them. Was unaccepting of the idea that he deserved a year long suspension and a $10 uh, million dollar fine. The Suns issued a statement of the NBA finding noting that the organization will implement the workplace improvement. The NBA has uh, talked about. It. Like I said, the NBA, uh, the Phoenix just came out with a statement. Da, 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 da. The Suns League the Department is committed to create a safe, respectful, and including work environment that is free of discrimination and harassment. As the NBA acknowledges, we fully cooperate with the NBA investigation, which covers an 18 year period. 18 year period. Not even just that. You, you've had 18 years. 18 years of this man doing this. That, that, that'd be the thing with me. I'm not, I'm not saying that no one's came out or nothing like that. Not even saying that. But what gets me is that why is it taking this long for somebody to step up and say something? Why is it taking this long for the NBA or any type of organization to finally say something and 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 do something about this? It, it's just it's mind boggling me that it's mind boggling me. And this is this is a thing for any woman out there, anybody out there, bro. If you feel like you're being harassed, period. Step up and say something. Don't wait years later because then it's harder for them to do their investigation. It's harder for them to, to, to gain uh, um, really uh, evidence and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Probably the only thing that is going for them has been 18 years. There's probably multiple people that have, have said something about this. Um, and it's just not getting a word to light. And that's just the crazy part. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait till, you know what I'm saying, you finally build up the curse. I know it's hard. Because even though young girls at my job, they were like, they didn't want to get nobody in trouble. Fuck that shit, bro. Like, this man is harassing. You don't know what level that it can go to. You feel what I'm saying? What level it can go to? Stop waiting, man. Stop waiting. And for y'all big executives or GMs at these big major corporations, well, I just don't understand this. I just don't understand this. Like, are y'all not watching the news like the rest of us out here in the world? R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Trey Sones, Deshaun Watson, all these dudes are getting healed up with these, 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 allies, they, uh, these charges. Some are, are in jail right now. Some are like getting out of prison or whatever the case may be. Some are going through the investigation right now. Deshaun Watson is, is, is having a, I think it's a eight game suspension. Fine $1 million. Why is he fined $1 million? It's beyond me. Why is this dude fined $10 million? This is beyond me. I think it should be more based on what you're being paid. If you're a person that's making millions of dollars, I'm talking about in the hundreds for five years, and you're getting like 15, 15 to 50 mil a year on a contract. Well, nah, man, we got to count up for you, bro. Like you're going to be right with, I, I think you should get at least about 20, 20, 25 mil. You should be coughing up for these type of charges and shit like that. Not just sexual harassment charges. You're yelling at employees. You, you probably said some racial slurs to, to the black employees and shit like that. And it's just mind boggling to me. And this is maybe has some, one of the reasons why the, the Phoenix organization or the Phoenix team was playing as poorly as they was playing, like in the playoffs and stuff like that. They, they had so much hanging over their head and stuff like that. Last October, Savior and the Suns issued a statement in advance of a 
forthcoming report of the uh, facility. He says some of the claims I found completely preposterous to my nature and to the character of the Phoenix Marcus workplace. And I can tell you they never, ever happened. 18 years. 18 years. Something had to happen. Why would this just come out of nowhere? And it's going to be bad when all this shit comes out, come to light, bro. Ain't nobody going to make up no racial slurs. Ain't nobody making up no sexual advancement in the workplace and stuff like that. I, I highly doubt that. But like I said, man, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let these be lessons to you. Stop sexual harassing these women at the workplace. You feel what I'm saying? Stop that. Like, is it worth it? Is it worth your name getting dragged through the mud? Is it worth your reputation being tarnished? Is it? Is it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Like, let me know about that because I, I, I just find it uh, mind-boggling. And this is one of the biggest stories right now. I guarantee you a lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people are talking about this. But I think for me personally, like I said, uh, a year suspension, I could take that. But depending on how much you make, $10 million uh, fine. Where, and where does these fines go to, to the organization? What about the victims that ha have to deal with this? Are they getting any money? Is it, are they getting any money? I just got to. Hey, for real. What's this fool name? Is his first name Robert? I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Robert Savior used the N word at use the win word on at least five occasions, made many sexual uh relative comments. Like it just Phoenix owns own and he's the owner. He's the owner. Robert Savior was suspended for one year and ten million. Oh, if you the owner? This is this is this is what I'm talking about, bro. You're a billionaire. You're a billionaire. I'm about to find out too. Let's find out what his net worth is. Let's find out what his net worth is, bro. How did I just make money? What is is America eight hundred million dollars? Let's see. Rubber Savior is an American sports team owner and businessman who has a network of eight hundred million dollars. After earning a fortune by starting several banks, he became well known for owning the NBA Phoenix Suns. Say it was you, you, you make it eight hundred bill, eight hundred million dollars. That was your net worth last year, bro. Come on, bro, ten mil to a person that's worth eight hundred mil. Man, we good on this, bro. We good. On this. We good on this, bro. What is the Phoenix Suns worth? The deal place. Let's see. It's counted value. 1.55 billion on the team and a gross up controlling interest on the Phoenix Suns of about 1.8 billion. The 1.555 billion interest deal. 
Tunes was priced back before the end of 2020, even though it was announced in July 2020. So your, your company is worth, the Phoenix Suns is worth between 1.5, 1.55, and 1.8. Like, eight ten million dollars ten million dollars that's what we doing right here dog are you serious right <laughs> like are you serious really this is what i'm talking about bro this is what i'm talking about bro this is what this is what he got he's not missing no money he's not missing no money He's not missing no money, bro. Regardless of I'm suspended, like, oh, oh, okay. I can't go to the arenas. I can't do, I guess I can't do basketball operation. But I get, I guarantee that check is still coming in. But like I said, what, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below about this situation. I think it's, I think it's, I think the year suspension is cool. Not really if it's been going on 18 years. But I, I, I guess I could take that. But the money situation, 10 mil, uh, you make it 800 mil. It's your net worth. I think we should be getting tried to get 50 mil, bro. I'm just, that's just me personally. I think we should get tried 50. But let me know what y'all think in the comments, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Smooth Money Mayweather, The Paper Chaser. Holla at your boy. Thank you for coming to the show. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe, turn on that bell notification, my G, and hit that like button, because you know it helps out, you know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate you. I'll let your boy. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching or listening to Welcome to the Show. For more episodes, make sure you subscribe here, and also turn your bell notification so you don't miss out on another spectacular episode of Welcome to the Show.